All right, welcome to another segment of our Genstar tutorials. And today we'll be looking at randomized complete block design, which is also known as ROCBD. Um, this design is probably m mostly used when um, you have the experiment carried out in, a, in an environment that has a lot of variations that is not within the control of the researcher. The, for instance, you are doing a crop production work in a field. You do not have control over the topography of the field. You cannot determine the movement of the sunlight from morning to evening. You cannot determine the shade effect from other trees and the wind movement directions. And you cannot determine also the flow of water when it rains. So because of these variations which are out of your control, using ROCBD makes help the researcher to reduce the amount of error in the analysis after taking the data. I hope you understand. Okay, so these data sets we've been using for the previous video is what we are going to use still. Just an example to show you how to use a GenStat to run a randomized complete block design analysis. But for this video, we are going to be doing a one way analysis. One way means you have just one factor. One factor could probably be just fertilizer, could probably be um, treatment, could probably be variety differences, could probably be soil uh, texture, uh, soil amendments, uh, different soil pollutions, different um, medicines you give to your beds, uh, feed you give to your animals or uh, beds. You know, just that one factor is what we mean by one way means you're just using a one-way analysis, one-way study. You did a one-way study, you just one, one study. You know, you didn't put two things together to have a kind of a factorial uh, research, all right? So let's move ahead. So we're gonna use, um, in this experiment, we're gonna be using the variety as the factor, or better still, let's just use treatment as a factor, okay? <clears throat> let's use treatment as a factor, and then we're gonna go as usual to starts button starts button one and two way already selected <coughs> we want to put the plant height okay and then the one factor we talked about using is treatment and because it's a recipe the this box will be checked okay and then we pick the rep Remember, at the, in the earlier video, I, I taught you how to convert the rep, the variety, to factors. If you don't remember, please visit the earlier video and just watch that first few minutes of the video to see how to convert the rep to factor. Because if you don't convert to factor, you cannot use it here. You cannot use it here. Okay? So you go to option and then you click on the CV as we've been doing in previous videos. You click here and you click here. Please, if you've not seen the previous videos with respect to CRD, please go and see those videos. It is important you get certain basic knowledge which were mentioned in those videos. For the purpose of not repeating myself often, I have decided to cut off certain parts which were repeated in those videos. So endeavor to go to those videos and see how to come into this um, this area, this area where I am now, picking these uh, options. All right, okay. Alright, so we have chosen the things we want to see. If, for instance, your research requires you to see residual effects, you can put this. Um, if you have missing values in your data, you can click this for the system to understand that you have missing values. Else, it will run. It will not run it properly. Okay. Okay. If you want to see the effects um, with respect to your data, you want to see the effect on your ANOVA table, you can see it here. Okay. Alright, so. Um, if you also want to plot a graph, a mean plot or a residual plot, you can choose any of these. Okay, so we do multiple comparison, and we have to choose uh, Fisher's LSD protected LSD. Why do we choose Fisher's LSD when we have numerous uh, ways to um, do mean separation? Well, Fisher's LSD is most preferred when your treatment uh, variations or your treatment rate, 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 uh, rates are not more than five. 
okay not more than five anything less than five fishers will give you a very good analysis a very good differentiation but anything higher than that the sensitivity becomes lower and using any other one aside from fishers will make the level of separation limited okay all right so i am i am preferable a fan of descending order you could use to use ascending still, still okay uh, okay okay and then we run okay so you have the output input and event log options here so after running for you to see the result of you what you run you click on the output and it opens this window so you can as you can see the fishers protected least significant different test shows that um, there is significant difference between within within the treatments among the treatments okay among the treatments with zero milligram per kg having the uh, highest mean value of 103.11 followed by 100 milligram per kg followed by 3000 milligram per kg and these three despite the differences in mean value however statistically are dissimilar there is no difference between them so but what what we saw is that at 4000 milligram per kg there was significant difference in plant height which means that plant height was retarded when the amount of treatment applied exceeded 3000 milligrams per kg this is what this interpretation implies and i will there will be a video that will have to do more interpretation how to interpret data and how to present them on table so but for now just make do with this little interpretation all right we have the cv for rep 2.4 and the unit 10.5 they're all less than, they're all less than um 20 which means they are okay so our analysis of very uh, analysis of variance shows that there is significant high significant level of difference among the treatments okay all right so this is how we will run the rep, uh, the ROCBD uh, analysis of variance by one way. So as you can see, we have a rep stratum. Okay, the rep stratum. We have three uh, reps. So the degree of freedom is RO minus one, which is two. Okay, the treatment is T minus uh, one, which is four minus one, which is three. Why the residual? Residual means error. The error in the experiment. Okay so um with the total a summation of all of them here okay so um that is all for these uh, studies these are the means this is the standard error of means this error standard error of means the standard error of differences and least significant difference of means i told you in previous video that if you want to know what makes it significant what tells if a result is significant is when you subtract the highest mean from the next highest mean and if the value is um, not greater than this lsd value it then implies that there is no significant difference however when you subtract if you can you do the next highest one until you get a significant difference then there is no until you get a value greater than this lsd then there is no significant difference okay so for instance this our mean data it show that 103.11 minus 99 point this failed to give us five point what five point um five point two nine which is approximately five point three nor did this minus this give us uh 5.29 as well but however this minus this gave us something greater than 5.29 so which means that these and these and these we had are though different in mean values but are statistically the same however the three of them when subtracted this from them showed that their values their their answers were greater than 5.29 which means they are all statistically different significant statistically different from this 4000 milligram per kg okay all right so that is all for now thank you please do subscribe to the video
if you haven't so you can keep uh, getting more videos like this and getting to learn more about data analysis